Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Build a City. It's been two years since we were last making real episodes on here. Yes, we have done the uh, Let's Build a City series uh, of live streams, but we've not done a proper episode in a long time and it's back after popular demand. Here we go. Okay, so for this uh, episode, episode 51 I think it is, um, we're going to be doing a recap tour, because the last thing we did was a tour, but because of all the live streams we've built so much more, probably another like 60% of the city. Um, as you can see, look, this is a bit of a map uh, of, uh, actually I think most of this stuff was done in the old episodes, but yeah, there's so much to do. And it just sort of ended a bit abruptly last time. I just got so busy, and I am still really, really busy. But uh, I'm going to try and find time to do more episodes. So just you'll have to bear with me. Hopefully, they'll be out once a week or something. But let me know in the comment section when you want me to upload. So, like every Friday or Saturday or Wednesday or whatever. Um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, let's start off with a city tour. We'll start off where uh, I call Central Park. This is basically just sort of the main little park, city centre of the world. Um, NB stands for New Blockton, that's the name of the city. And if you come in, there's loads of park benches and it's all quite nice and you've got a little map to show where you are. Uh, so we are just there where the crosshairs are, roughly. Uh, and then this massive building, is RK7 Tower and I know a lot of you would have known all of this already uh, but just for people that haven't seen or want to recap uh, we won't go very inside every building because that would take a long time but uh, this is quite a good one RK7 Towers is sort of the main building in the world it's like not a government building but it's like where all a lot of the main people have offices and stuff and look, here's part of the world on a map we still haven't filled in all of this that shows you a bit of the scale of it all. Maybe if you see close up. I really like the look of the roads and stuff. But, uh, I need to get some of the smaller maps up as well because they're quite big so it takes up a huge wall space. Uh, but yeah, this is a very important building. Lots of decisions and stuff are made in here and there's like this staircase goes all the way up and there's like lots of different companies and offices on each floor uh, as you can see. I can't remember which floor my one is, that's never tech. Uh, oh, someone's someone's destroyed the floor. There we go. Anyway, like I say, we don't want to go inside every single building because this will be hours long. Um, so if you do want to see inside the buildings, then you have to join my game at some point and uh, check it out for yourself. And it's very difficult trying to find a good way around the city because it's all done in like a lot of blocks and loads of different roads and alleys so we're just going to sort of do whatever we sort of come across you know, I've not got a real layout of where we want to go uh, this is the bowling place the bowling plaza as you can see uh, this is pretty cool actually because it sort of works so you buy you know book whatever there and you've got your arcade but yeah you sort of well throw the bowling balls down here and there's ice underneath and then if you get it in, then these, oh, they should light up. Maybe they need some maintenance. Oh, there you go, these ones work. Yeah, so it's sort of a, a cool little thing which I could make sort of work. So uh, I was pretty pleased with that. So it's like one of the ways you can entertain yourself in the city. Uh, here are just a load of offices and apartments. This hasn't got any in it, actually. No, it looks like we're doing some maintenance as we go around the city as well. Uh, this building is a casino, which is pretty cool because it's got all like gambling tables and stuff here. And I think upstairs there's like roulette and things like that. Yeah, there's roulette. Uh, there is a better casino in the world. I'm sure we'll come across that later on. Uh, not sure what this building is, but someone's got it like under construction. So someone else has taken over that business and is uh, in the process of refurbishing it. 
Uh, it's all nicely done across the seafront as well. So I try and do like the borders of the city by the sea. Uh, here's just some more shops, pretty standard shops, you know. Uh, there's apartments above, and uh, I quite like the way I did the back. I think I did around here. Yeah, the backs of these are like it looks really urban. So it's got like you know graffiti and like fire escapes and stuff, uh, and security cameras. Uh, so yeah, you sort of go up here, and I think there should be yeah Sea View Apartments. So yeah, there's all the like nice apartments and stuff that you can uh, rent and things like that if you want to be a resident in the city. Uh, then background here, we've got I think that's a restaurant, a car dealership. Uh, not sure what that is. Uh, a storage lockup. That's pretty cool with this like little dock. I think, yeah, that the barriers can go up. They've got this cool little Docklands area. Um, I'm trying to work out which way I should go around, really. Maybe we'll, we'll go this way before we go down there. Uh, this is a courthouse, but it used to be like the town hall, but it's no longer a town, it's a city. So, yeah, we sort of use this as the courthouse. Order, order, tape recorder. Uh, I'm trying to remember what all of these things are. A cafe, because a lot of people like own the businesses and they'll change them uh, whenever they want so I don't know every single thing uh, if you've been with me since the beginning of the series you'll see you'll see uh, down here you'll start to remember some of the buildings we did first but uh, whilst we're here we've got a coffee shop uh, not sure what that is that's another cup well it's a cafe uh, and then down here this is the first street we ever built here is the uh, first building we ever built, which is the Hard Rock Cafe, I think it is now. Hard Rock Cafe. Just a pretty normal cafe. And then I'm pretty sure we built this yellow one next, uh, which is sort of like an outdoorsy shop, like it sort of sells things for gardens, uh, which is sort of ironic since like there's no, well, there's very little gardens in the city. Everyone's sort of condensed in. Uh, and then we built some of these other ones afterwards as well, and we've got a McDonald's here. Uh, and then on this side, we've got an anime store, uh, a theatre, uh, this is the police station. Uh, we've got a bakery, and like I say, yeah, I'm not sure what that one is. Down here, there's just lots of different shops. Like I said, I don't want to go into every single one in detail, but I'll give you a bit of a a fly through the city so you can see where we're at and stuff like that. Here's some of the houses in the world. Uh, and this is a haunted house as well, so that's sort of, we try and make that look cool every Halloween. Uh, I don't even know who built it, but it like randomly appeared here, so we were like, oh, might as well keep it, build around it. Uh, and it sort of looks quite good, to be honest. Uh, and then we've got a huge, huge row of uh, shops and buildings and stuff. Uh, on, on either side really and these have loads of different shops and businesses inside so uh, I don't know all of those we've got some sort of more Victorian old style buildings there and this building is really interesting I really like this because it if you imagine it like really basic just the grey and like blocks across without any of the detail uh, that's what it was before and recently in a live stream uh, we went and like made it look quite cool and it's quite funky now because it's like a cafe it's got cool theming and there's this like really strange canopy over the top um, and I just think it turned out really nice uh, and I, I sort of like doing overhauls of buildings like buildings that don't go too well then I like sort of go around and fixing them uh, next to it I'm not sure what that is but I didn't build it uh, and then we're back to here so over this way we've got a big warehouse and these are just billboard advertisements you'll see them all around the city uh, and that's for when people have donated uh, to the live stream sent super chats and stuff so you put a billboard up as a bit of a shout out really uh, yeah this is just like a very old run down warehouse you can see some of the some of the windows have been smashed in so they've been boarded up uh, this is the arcade this is quite cool you sort of need to get a, a bit of a further view from it but yeah you got little Pac-Man monster things uh, and all sorts but yeah it's, it's quite cool because there's all the stuff on the inside as well 
I mean, we do try to do the interiors as much as we can. Obviously, it takes a lot of time, so a lot of the time we also just say, if you want a shop, then put a sign on it and uh, and fill the inside. And look, I've not actually seen this. The Anti Griefers Association. Ah, oh, looks like they've uh, report griefers here. We'll dispatch the police or fire department. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, because I know some people do try to uh, sort out businesses and stuff, and it is cool when you see them uh, like that. So that's awesome. Uh, there's some other bits and bobs. We need to get rid of this. I don't know what that is. Someone just randomly built it. Uh, so we need to get rid of that. Uh, we've got a, like an old fashioned garage there. Which looks really nice. I didn't build that. I sort of changed a few bits on it. Um, but no, I didn't build that. It does look really good though. It's very 1950s. And then I'll show you just a better view of this. As you come across this bridge. You end up in this sort of 1950s looking town it's very sort of old-fashioned downtown America feel uh, to these buildings and I think it was here whilst we were building this building that we hit 10k subs maybe or 9k or one of our landmarks we hit uh, building this uh, so it has a special place in my heart that bit uh, but yeah all these buildings are quite similar a lot of them are diners and cafes, like this one is quite nice, I think we did an episode on this um, and it turned out really nice, it's like a little old fashioned diner on the inside. Uh, I should probably redo the interior, it's quite basic, but uh, yeah a lot of these just old fashioned buildings, we've got a cinema here uh, actually which is pretty cool, uh, and there's lots more room to uh, build as well, and another garage, and a sheep which blends in with the road. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what the other stuff is. Yeah, more billboards as well. Anyway, if we head on this way, uh, where should we go next where we haven't seen? This is the back of all the Docklands, by the way. Uh, and if we go down here, okay, I suppose we could go left. We've got the other movie theatre, the other cinema. Uh, this one's my favourite, it does look quite nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did this in a live stream too. Uh, but yeah, this one's quite detailed and nice. Uh, and very, like, retro feel to it. Uh, so, this is a ticket booth. Movie 1, The Donations of Mr. Crafty or The Time Travellers. Ooh. Uh, and this is just one of those quite well done interiors, I think. Like, we've got movie posters uh, on the walls as well. And uh, you can buy your food and snacks here, buy some popcorn. Let's go into the Time Travellers. Oh, very nice. And then, uh, yeah, then this is where you can go watch your movies and stuff. Maybe we'll have some screenings there in the uh, in the future. Yeah, guys, you'll have to let me know what sort of things you want to see me build and stuff like that. So always, always put suggestions and stuff in the comments. I do read all the comments. Uh, we've come here to the edge of the city. This is like New Blockton Forest on our left here. So this sort of is one edge of the city. Uh, we start. We're trying to like, build the edges so we don't like keep expanding out. Uh, so then we can make like other districts and stuff. I want to make sort of a more country sort of district as well with like barns and farms and stuff. So that's why I'm trying to make these borders and stop expanding the city. Uh, through here we've got just like quite a rough estate, it's got, if you see around this side, oh it's a bit further down actually, but yeah they, these are just some sort of uh, apartments and flats and stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah down this end, uh, when you're in a quite urban area, it's quite rough, you got all the graffiti and stuff like that, uh, but it's cool, it's good graffiti actually, it's quite colourful. And, uh, we're in the process of doing all the backs of these buildings, so I think we've got up to about just down here somewhere actually. Yeah, so we're trying to make the backs of the buildings look a bit more realistic rather than having them just flat on the back, so I would always recommend doing that. Uh, if we hop over here, uh, there's another bakery, some more apartments, or actually, I don't know what this is, I think this was a bakery or a cake shop or something. Uh, let's find out Waterside Bakery uh, and then we sort of get towards my favorite part of the city which is over here and this is like a very old um, 
sort of industrial area because it's got factories and warehouses as you can see there's a couple of warehouses along here uh, for a long time this was my favorite building just because it looked quite realistic with the colors and stuff and the chimneys uh, so yeah I, I was very pleased with how this turned out and obviously this one as well they're just very like that classic old factory look uh, to them <coughs> We also built a new factory fairly recently. Uh, it's like a new old factory. It's like an old fashioned factory, but it's a new addition to the city. Uh, and I was really pleased with this one because I thought I'd incorporate that old uh, factory roof design with the skylights. Uh, I'm not sure why they did them like that. If anyone knows, you have to uh, let me know. But yeah, all the factories, when they have those slanted skylights. Uh, and then back before we go into the large area of the city, the more modern bit, uh, we've got, this is how I imagine where the, the old Docklands would have been, you know, you get all the lumber and stuff being shipped in from across the world and it gets processed and distri uh, distributed here. So yeah, we've got a bit of a port, uh, some other factories and stuff, and then we've got these old fashioned Victorian buildings uh, everywhere and we've got a whole street of them really. Uh, which go all the way down there as well and there you can see into New Blockton Forest as you can see on the horizon we have got the skyscraper district uh, I think before we get into there I'll, um, I'll sort of loop around because we did miss a couple of things uh, but whilst we're here you might recognize this this is a Starbucks or as close to a Starbucks as we could get um, but I think the colour scheme gives it away and the coffee cup um, but yeah the Starbucks logo is so difficult to do so that's as close as we were going to get uh, and then we've got a few fashion shops I think like clothes stores uh, that yellow thing is a pub uh, some more factories uh, I'm not sure what some of these are uh, this is a radio station though which is really cool or a podcast studio so as you can see it's got soundproofing on the walls, there's microphones and stuff like that, little booths and a waiting room and reception. Uh, this is a pet store I think. Uh, this is, I think this was an internet cafe or something. Yeah, it's supposed to be some sort of library slash internet cafe. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we've been down here, that means we need to go down this way. Uh, some more shops and stuff. Here is a chemist or a pharmacy, so you can go get all your uh, prescriptions of leaping potions or whatever here. Uh, this is a new Blockton fire department, and have they added bells? I don't know if I'm using the, the right version here, I think I might need to update it. But uh, once once they've added bells to this version, I'll, I'll whack a bell up there. Uh, but yeah, this is the fire department, helps deal with uh, grief in the city, griefers and lava and uh, fires of course. Next to it is the closest thing we have to a hospital at the moment. Um, it sort of does act like one. It's got sort of the different rooms where you can get checked out and uh, sort of made better and stuff. And uh, we've got a few more floors to fill in. But yeah, this is a quite a cool building. So you can always get your prescription prescribed there and then go down and get it from the chemist as well. Uh, but yeah, I think we've covered everything in that half of the city. So if we move along here, we've got a nice modern hotel as you see by the big uh, the big writing on the front. I didn't build this, uh, my good friend Ryan built that, you might remember him. RHC Elite. Uh, and then this is a shopping mall, a very modern shopping mall. Uh, we built this in episode so if you want to see this being built then uh, you'll probably be able to find it. Inside of here, it's probably changed though, uh, different shops and stuff nice skylights and um, my favourite bit is the food court at the back we've got a subway and a McDonald's there's loads of McDonald's uh, in this city so you have to sort of it's like where's Wally you've got to go along and see how many you can spot uh, this is like the grand train station of the world I was really pleased with how this turned out because it's well it is very grand it looks very nice and uh, I'll take a quick look on the inside uh, as you can see Quite detailed ticket booths, there's a little cafe, uh, toilets and stuff, and a waiting area. And then this is the sort of platforms. So this line 
takes you all the way into another city on the other side of the world, which I built years ago. Uh, and then this side will eventually take you into the suburban district. Uh, well, it'll probably take you to a, a different train station there. Uh, and you can switch lines and stuff, but we haven't got round to doing that yet. Uh, and then back round here. Actually, I don't know where I'll go. I'll go. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. We'll see the skyscrapers first. So go through this tunnel, uh, which is pretty pointless. We should probably get rid of the uh, of, the, of this mountain here because it's a bit in the way. Uh, but I do like the tunnel. Uh, but yeah, so here we are in the skyscraper district. So I guess I'm going to have to sort of fly up for you guys to be able to see it really. Um, so starting from here, I suppose, is just. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but there's that building there is just full of loads of people's different businesses so you can sort of rent an office. Uh, this is JD, so it's my, my friend's building, uh, which I gave to him. Uh, this is the Super Chat Museum, so everyone that's sent donations in live streams gets their name on a plaque in there. Uh, that building behind is also like an office building where people can hire out offices. Behind that is a building that's under construction. I think it's like called LS Incorporated or something. Uh, this is NBNN, which is New Block to News Network. So that has all the TV studio and stuff in. Uh, around this way, some more offices. Uh, these are more offices too. These are sort of cool. This has got loads of people's different businesses in. There's boardrooms and meeting rooms, and I think there's a call centre or something like that. Yeah, there's like some sort of thing in there. Uh, so yeah, they're all detailed, which is really good. Uh, this is Nevertech. They're like a big company within the city, so that's quite cool. It's good to have like big corporations in the world. It's, it's pretty cool that everyone has their own business. But yeah, Nevertech's one of the big businesses in the world. Some more billboards there for people that have donated. Uh, there's our multi-story car park. We should probably add more of those because it's a big city. Uh, that is a posh apartment building. That hasn't been built on the inside yet. Uh, these are supposed to be a load of shops on the bottom and then I don't think the rest of it's filled in. No, so we do need to get around to doing that. Or if anyone feels like they'd like to take that challenge on of doing the inside of these, then get in contact. Uh, but it's quite a cool place to walk through this skyscraper area. Uh, this building, I'm not sure someone owns it, but uh, we haven't built it yet. Uh, we had a load of progress done, and we had like another massive hotel there, but it was on a different save. And if I wanted to start our series back up, I had to put it back to an older save, uh, which is really annoying, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, this is it's quite a cool looking skyscraper because of the colour scheme. Uh, it looks quite neat and tidy as well, so I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Uh, this is the city bank, uh, or part of it, because some of it did get destroyed. So we've got to repair that. That was through like a glitch in uh, someone's command or something. Uh, this hasn't been done on the inside. Uh, this isn't mine. I don't know what that is. It's someone else's business they're setting up. Uh, someone's buying that, I think. Well, not buying it, but owning it. Uh, that looks like it's under construction, but I haven't built that one. This is LS. I think this is LS Towers. There's another one called LS something as well, but this is LS Towers. Uh, and there's apartments and offices and all sorts on the inside. Um, and it is really cool. It's a massive building. Uh, see if you can recognise any of these brands. Uh, but these are cool because you've got all like the interior or detailed how the shops sort of are in real life well uh, so these were quite fun to do um, especially the interiors which I, I did have help with as well uh, I think that's all the skyscrapers I think so apart from this one which I think is the biggest one uh, I'm not sure what this is I think the floors empty so you can set up your own business in here if you want uh, just give us a shout uh, and yeah it's just a bit of a reception and stuff on the inside uh, we've got some more shops and uh, we saw those offices they're more 
offices and shops. There's a lot of offices and shops, as you can tell, in this city. So I don't want to be boring and just keep going on and on. Uh, this is Chinatown. This is quite an interesting part of the city. Um, there's not really much to say about it. I mean, it's sort of all trying to be like a oriental theme, so like the real China restaurant. I think that's supposed to be like noodles or something. Um, and then there's like fashion shops and stuff. But yeah, it's quite a nice city and a uh, nice city, a nice street, I mean. And especially the way it curves around as well. It's not like any of the other stuff. So if you look at it from above, uh, it's quite interesting too. Uh, and then here is quite a nice, neat part of the city. Oh, that's where that train trek comes out, by the way. Uh, and if a train goes over here, the barriers go up as well, so that's quite cool. Uh, this is the seafront town, uh, and you'll see why soon. Got some car parking spaces, we've got a marketplace going. Uh, and then all these lampposts light up at night as well, which is cool. This is the other casino I was on about earlier on in the video, uh, and this is my favourite. Firstly, I just love the look of the outside, but uh, it's the inside which is my favourite part. I think the carpet just goes so well, it's that very old timey retro casino feel on the inside. Quite dark and dingy, with all the roulette tables and stuff. I was pretty pleased at how uh, this one turned out. Uh, but most of these buildings aren't owned by me, like I built them, but then I just give it away for people to build their own businesses inside or set up their own shops, uh, rather than just building them and leaving them, I like giving them a proper use. Oh yeah, and there was a fire here, uh, so that's why it's been closed off by the fire department, uh, and I'm sure they're doing some investigating or something at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is a seafront town because we are right by the sea of course. And this is the beach of the world. It's like a sea beach. Um, a sea beach, what am I saying? A seafront town uh, by the beach. And there's some cool stuff to do as well. You've got volleyball. Uh, up here you can look through some periscopes or telescopes. Uh, some places to eat as well. And especially the barbecue on the beach. That is a brilliant restaurant. Uh, and I think that's a fish and chip shop too as well and there's loads of just beach shops and stuff related to the beach here as well uh, and I think, oh this is quite a cool little pub so it's quite British I think, apart from the fans um, but, and there's like a little dartboard with some darts you can play uh, in there as well and I wonder if I've made it, yeah let's so the drinks dispensers actually work so you can pull yourself a pint a pint of night vision uh, and then apart from that, I think that's that part of the city done. And then we just hop over one of the many bridges uh, into this area where there's just some very modern, expensive apartments, I'd imagine. Uh, and a lot of area for development as well. A few more offices. Uh, but yeah, this area is all still getting built up, so it's not done at all. Uh, but yeah, look at, look at the front of these apartments. They're quite posh, quite nice. Uh, I don't even ask what's going on there, I have no idea. Um, one minute there's a skyscraper there, next minute it's sort of half destroyed. Uh, this is Hotel Blue, quite a nice hotel. Uh, quite posh as you can see on the, by the long driveway, you can imagine a limo pulling up there. Uh, but I think we're still working on the inside of that. And if you head down this sort of motorway, this highway, then you eventually reach part of the suburban area which is home to the school as well so this is like the new blocks in high school uh, where the head teacher is Kai, Mr Sheldon uh, new blocks and high at school uh, which is also still being worked on so you've got all your lockers uh, you've got the hall, the school hall here as well uh, and I don't know my way around here. I have built some stuff in here. Uh, woodwork and metalwork class. Uh, I didn't do the inside of this, but this looks really good. I think I've only seen this a couple of times. But yeah, this looks really good. Uh, through here we got uh, history. So you learn about the Norman invasion of England. It's pretty cool. 
uh, and there's loads of different classrooms really so we won't go through them all uh, that's the head teacher's office and there will be a canteen around here somewhere oh, I think this is performing art it looks quite flashy but yeah there's loads of different stuff uh, and as you can see it's still being worked on at the moment so uh, maybe we'll work on that in an episode at some point and then apart from that as we draw to the end of the episode and the tour uh, these are just some of the suburban houses that we've built some of the more homely places with actual gardens as well uh, it's just a nice quite expensive neighborhood but uh, it sort of looks like a cartoon house really a lot of these but they are really nice and neat and they're sort of mansions I suppose especially stuff like you know when you've got a double garage and uh, multiple sort of floors and bedrooms and things like that uh, but yeah I'm gonna fly to back to the city uh, and then end the episode really uh, and I hope people have enjoyed uh, I know a lot of people were asking for it back so I thought I would but you've just got to bear with me when it comes to making the episodes because we've got a lot on at the moment uh, but I will try to make episodes when I can I did want to bring it back for you guys because people are always commenting saying when are you going to bring back the city? Oh, I wish you would bring back the city episodes and stuff like that. So, here you go. I thought it might be fun just to bring it back. And my goal is to sort of reach episode 100 because we finished on 50. Um, and it, it, it was just a bit of an abrupt ending. So hopefully we can get things fixed up and get back in the swing of things. But do let me know down below when you want me to upload, what sort of times or dates or whenever. Uh, and I will see what I can do and let me know what you think as well um, thanks for watching people I hope you enjoyed I will continue to live stream as well obviously but uh, until next time or until next stream I'll see you later